at Mount Baldy, I got off to an awfully late start because of the snow where I live. So, you see the trail here, the trailhead? Yeah, like maybe an inch and a half of snow. Yeah, late start. So I might be coming down if I make it to the summit with my headlamp. But, wow, look at that. Yeah, I'm up around 9,000 foot elevation, I believe. I mean, uh, I should just check my altimeter. You know, I have altimeter, should use it. But you can see everything's frozen up here. Very, very beautiful. And uh, yeah, my altimeter says 9,200 foot elevation, so doing pretty good. Started late, started at 9.30, and it's 11.30 now, so two hours. Uh, now that I'm starting to take pictures, it's so beautiful up here, I'm starting to drag ass, but let's go. Okay, I'm up here at about 9,500 foot elevation. If you could see uh, these trees, and everything are completely frozen. I'm on the way to the summit of Mount Baldy. Getting pretty close now. And uh, I'm just gonna start going up. One of these shoots here, kick stepping my way up. Anyway, let's go. Okay, made it up here to the Baldy summit. Kickstep my way all the way up. So, no problem. I take these devils back on back. I'm gonna rest a little bit and then get going again. Let's go. Okay, when you're, I'm doing the devils back on my way back down from Mount Baldy on Saturday here. Look at these rocks. Ah. Ah. I haven't seen anybody else up here. I saw some people on the Baldy Bull Trail, but nobody down here. That's the devil's backbone. I was wondering to myself, when you don't see anybody up here, does that mean you're foolish or you're lucky? I hope I'm lucky. Anyway, let's go. Okay, I'm here on the devil's backbone. You know, we're, it's like a thousand foot drop. There it is down there, man. I don't even want to get close to that thing. I gotta walk on the edge of it over here. But this is that area that if you've, look at that tree. If you've climbed Mount Baldy and then come down the Devil's Backbone or vice versa, and you thought it would absolutely be purely insane to do it in the ice and snow. Well, that's what I'm about to do right now. So wish me luck. Oh. The drop is probably at least a thousand feet. I don't know. It's a long ways. But um, anyway, let's go. That is a long, long way down right there, man. Devil's back on Mount Baldy. You do not want to slip on the ice right here and fall down this thing, man. Because you will never be seen again. Not at least until spring, they might smell you. Anyway, let's go. the most dangerous or the most exposed section of the Devil's Backbone up here on Baldy. Right here I guess it's probably about 9,000 feet, maybe a little more, 9,000 foot elevation. But you can see the trail I made coming down this thing with the crampons on. Um, you're very exposed is a problem. You know, if you eat it there, you drop all the way down here. I mean, that is, it's like straight, straight down. Let me take you up here and I'll show you a little section of it here. But uh, it doesn't really do it justice. You know, the iPhone never really shows that. But, you know, it's crazy straight down. But anyway, so all good. Let's go. Right here, 
here's about 12 miles that I've gone through in the snow and ice. Um, some of it came up Maker, Baldy Bull Trail came up, Baldy Bull Kick stepped up it. Some of it, not Baldy, is complete whiteout conditions, you know, snow fog. You couldn't see anything really up there. And then I uh, worked my way down the Devil's Backbone. And, uh, you know, I'm working my way back down this thing, man. But I'll tell you what, that was one hell of an adventure. <laughs> uh, there was a couple of people up on the summit of Baldy, and I said, hey, anybody want to join me and take the Devil's Backbone route back down? And they're like, no way. But as far as I'm concerned, it wasn't risky or dangerous, but it was very exhilarating and one hell of an adventure. Anyway, let's go. back down to Manker parking area. So coming up on 14 miles here. Alpine snow ice 10,064 feet to summit. I'm working my way back down. And look at that, look at that man. Oh, God, what a terrific adventure today. Pretty extreme. One for the record books, man. Anyway, let's go. Okay. Uh, considering all the ice and snow up there, I'm back at my car at 4 o'clock. I left my car at 9.30 this morning, so I actually got a really late start. I was late on the summit. Nankered a Baldy Bowl, straight up Baldy Bowl. And then... Uh, Coming down, the Devil's Backbone, and then uh, the uh, Ski Chalet Fire Road. So, all in all, one hell of a trip. Really fun adventure. I mean, from flowing wind and, you know, 15 degrees and ice and snow on the summit up there at over 10,000 feet to the back of my car. All in a day. Crampons, ice axe. Um, only, only in California, only in Los Angeles can you do that. Anyway, all good. On to the next one. Let's go. All right. Mount Baldy Snow Angel. Woohoo. Hey, my junk isn't hanging out, is it? No. Snow Angel. Okay. <laughs> 